Hi, I'm Allison Reichert from the Making Buzz Kid-Friendly February PD session with Rebecca Page and Denise Wright. Today, I'm going to show you how to embed videos in Buzz as a way to connect with virtual students. I'll be using the Buzz program along with Screencastify, which is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to record videos of yourself or your screen. This wonderful tool allows you to record, edit, and share your videos in seconds. Videos auto-save to your Google Drive can be published directly to YouTube, or best of all, come with an embed code that can be put directly in your course to share with students. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Let's get started. In working with Buzz, and teaching virtual students in the fall, the three of us found that including video messages and personalized videos of content helped our students stay engaged and stay informed about important things throughout the course. This was also an effective way to communicate with students about important information or directions that we found we were getting several emails about. As you can see on the slide, there's a video message for module four right in the center of the screen. We're gonna show you today how to create video messages to share with your students. The first step is to go to your course in Buzz. Click on the three horizontal lines and go to the editor. Next, you wanna determine which module you want to add content in. Maybe it's the second module. Once you're there, you determine which folder you want to add your video to, and you click the plus sign for add activity. You're presented with several choices, one of which being an option to add an embed code. You can also add other things like a file attachment, Google Drive document, or a link to a website. Let's click on embed code. Here's where you're prompted with a title, along with a place to put your embed code. So the next thing we need is an embed code to add for our video, along with the title for our video. Let's see how to do that. The tool we like to use is Screencastify. So click on your Screencastify extension, and that will prompt you to record either your desktop, a browser tab, or you can have the camera on you if you want to spend a, send a special message to your students. The desktop is great if you want to show them something specifically about something in your course or something specifically about the directions and you want to clarify something like that or give them some additional instruction on something you've had a common question about. Once you record your videos, you have easy to use editing tools where you can crop your video or make different customizations to it. But what's really nice is over here on the right where you get several options. You can copy a shareable link. Um, it will also be directly in your Google Drive or what we like to use is the embed code to get an embed code. You can also publish it directly to YouTube if you'd like. You can send it in an email. You can download it and several other options with just a click of a button. So we're gonna go ahead and get the embed code. Once you have the embed code, you just copy and paste it wherever you'd like to um, import the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this embed code. Oh, I can just click copy embed code. And then I'm gonna move back over to Buzz and go back to where I wanna add an activity and click embed code. And then paste my embed code where prompted, and give this a title. We recommend calling it video so that the students know that this is a video. You can give it any kind of title that you want. I'm gonna call this one Module 2 Special Instructions. And hit OK. As you can see, my video is now here at the bottom and I can move this wherever I'd like by clicking on the three dots and choosing to move up or move down depending on where I'd like to place the video. 
Keep in mind, students need to complete things in the order that they're listed. So if you put a video after the test, the students won't see it until after they take a test. If you make a mistake, you can always click on the dots and delete the video you created and start over. Or you can also opt to hide the video from students until you're ready for them to see it. Thanks for watching. This is just a simple way to connect with your students and have one more way to try to help clarify things and help them along the way through their virtual journey. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at Dear Disses.